Welcome back to the Terraria tutorial series, and I'm going to continue this adventure. As you see up here, I've run from this host of zombies like an abject coward. I'm going to ignore that fallen star, and I'm going to go adventuring now. I'm going to go away from the dangerous surface. I just carry on down into this cave system, which I think in video three I was exploring, and obviously I left off without really fulfilling a full adventure of that cave. So let's go about it again and see what we have down here. And it can take a little while to get down to the the de excuse me the to the depths of your cave. Uh, this one is certainly no aberration in that you know pretty much all the major caves you come across go quite deep in the world, and it can take some time to traverse them. So uh, don't feel as though you're doing anything wrong if it takes a while to get back to where you left off. Um, so we'll be at the bottom before long. Let's carry on down. And I want to go ahead and get this pot up here. I don't like to leave many stones unturned if I can help it. And just for the cost of a few ropes. Let's see what we get. Not much, but you know, it's better than nothing. Another habit I have is to really fill out these caves and explore them as best I can. So I don't like leaving unexplored sections of my caves. Maybe you'll play it a little differently. There's certainly no hard and fast rule uh, about whether or not to, you know, explore every little side nook and cranny of your cave. It's just something I like to do. So let's go up here. You never know what you'll find. Okay, not much, but you know, it was worth a shot. You never know if there was any ore or anything up here. It's just stone, so we can we can bypass that and carry on with our adventures below. But we did get a bit of ore here, so it wasn't something that left us completely empty-handed. Let's go ahead and get rid of this slime here. And off to the right, Thanks to the torch I've placed, you can see that there's some ore, looks like lead ore off to the right, so we'll definitely want that. Lead ore is definitely a step above this copper level or, or tin level items that I have right now. I'm using the, the pickaxe. This is actually tungsten, and so this is the equivalent of silver. It's even better than lead, so we're definitely going to want to mine this. The ores do look a little different from one another, so... <coughs> Hang on. Let's go down. It'll be easier to attack him if we go down to his level. So anyway, these ores do look a little different. Um, I probably should have detected that that was tungsten and not lead, but it's been a while since I played entry-level terraria, I guess you could call it. So anyway, what I said was, uh, whether it's silver or tungsten, that is an ore level, essentially one tier above the iron and lead tier. So you definitely want to get that stuff if you can find it. Early on, it'll make your equipment that much more powerful. If it's a sword, it'll do more damage. And if it's a pickaxe, it'll mine faster, that sort of thing. So you definitely want to collect that. Anyway, let's start to delve a little deeper into this area of the cave and see if we can find anything useful. Looks like there's an underground river here. We can actually ignore that for now, I would say. Um, let's go ahead and put some put some rope down so we can get back out and you may have to dig your way out one thing I've found in Terraria is that you can enter but you can't always leave a section it's sort of like Hotel California lyrics um, so bear in mind you may have to dig your way out it's not a bug it's just how the game works all right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the rope into the water to make this little place more accessible and look we found some stuff here so let's see what we got just a bit of money Every little bit helps. Let's see how far we are from getting the merch. We're going to need about 15 more silver, so he'll be here soon. But we do need to continue adventuring to make sure we get enough silver for the merchant to appear. And this is a section where you definitely want to place a rope down. Go ahead and do that before you go down. It's, it's always safer to go ahead and prepare that way. We got one of these pesky worms swimming around in the in the dirt, just trying to get an attack off on us. These things are sort of a nuisance early on. Before long, they're not much of a threat, but right now, I really don't have much in the way of armor or weaponry, and so they are a bit of a challenge. Pretty much everything is a challenge, really, at this point. But if you've, if you've been watching the video series up to this point, you'll know that the character, as weak as he is right now, is still more powerful than when we began, right? So. 
Uh, yeah, it's baby steps at this point, so don't be disheartened if, if your character is weak for a little while. Uh, there's nothing to do but to grin and bear it until you get better gear and, and then see what you can do moving forward. So on lakes like this, underground lakes, you know, a rope obviously isn't going to help you here, but remember, as I said in an earlier video, you don't have to obey the rules of physics, so you can do this. You can build a little causeway of earth, and that way you can traverse the lake with no problem. So use all the tools at your disposal in Terraria. There's no shame in it. There's no hard and fast rule. I'm going to craft a few more torches. There are no rules for any of this, so just do what's convenient, especially early on. And uh, go about your adventuring. So this is quite a deep gorge. I'm going to try to catch the rope on the way down there. I've done it. And I'm jump down to the surface here. And what I'm really hoping for is to get a chest or something soon that'll help the merchant arrive. That's our next real goal because you can't really do but so much until the merchant arrives. He's the guy you sell stuff to early on. He sells you some good items that allow you to get stronger. So you really want to get to that 50 silver level for the merchant to arrive. And if you have that level and he's not arriving, Please double check that your housing is adequate, that you've got enough houses. Anyway, uh, what do we have here? Well, it looks like some shiny stones here. These are gemstones, I think. No, just lead, okay. Well, that's still good. We want lead, right? So let's harvest that and carry on. What do we have down here? We've got some wooden arrows. We can sell those or just keep them. And then, hang on. Go ahead and build another causeway and maybe put some rope down here and dig out some of this ore. There's some ore over here also. This will be useful. And there's a whole host of ore down here. So we've hit the jackpot here. This will serve our character well. So let's, let's strike into these ore veins once this little worm is dealt with. There he goes. And we can boost our character's strength with some tin ore and maybe some lead ore. We'll have to wait and see what, what we find here. So let's go ahead and swim down, plant a few ropes so we can find our way back out and get cracking with some mining. Okay, so this is tin. It's, it is the lowest level metal, obviously, but you know, it's still ha helpful to have. So we're gonna dig it up because there's still things you can do with it, even if you don't want to build any armor, let's say. You might have a use for it in the future all the same. So never pass it by, at least early on in the game, because it, it does have a utility for your character. So we're going to do that. It's a little dull to watch this. I'm sorry about that. But early on, you do what you have to do to get your character up and running. And it, it, it does involve mining tin ore and just kind of doing more mundane tasks. Uh, more adventurous stuff kind of happens later on. So we got to get through this little slow patch in the game. But you know what? It's fun in its own way, I think because the pace of your character's uh, growth at this stage in the game is quite rapid. And so there's something to be said about that, I think. Anyway, as I mentioned a minute ago, we really hit the, the jackpot here with these ore veins. Even if it's just tin, it would have been nice if it was lead or tungsten. Even though it's just tin, this will probably be enough to build some tin armor, which will make the character more resilient. Um, First, though, I'll probably build a tin sword. So right now we're using this wooden thing, and it's simply not adequate to the job. It's not up to the task. We want something more powerful, something that can more quickly take out slimes, can more quickly take out those worms that dig through the earth, that sort of thing. So we're going to get about that as soon as possible. Here we got some lead. That'll be good. You know, if we have enough lead, I may try to go ahead and build a lead sword because... If I can completely skip over the tin sword section of the game, I think that would be really good for the character. So let's see if we can do that. All right, I think we're almost wrapped up with this phase. Let's go ahead and build a causeway over here. I think we're done with that little pool of water. So we can just bypass it in the future. And we've got some stuff up here. Let's go ahead and dig that out. And again, you can see the utility of these ropes. They're really a godsend. 
Okay, we got some more lead. You know what? I think we'll definitely have enough for a good lead sword. So that's next on the agenda. That's next on the to-do list. So let's go ahead and dig these out of the earth. And we'll be well on our way to increasing our character's strength. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think we're probably done adventuring for now. Once we get some of this ore. And I think there's even more up here. So we're really getting spoiled with all of this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back to base. This is getting a little much for my character. And so what I'm going to do... I've already kept all the ore in my inventory, obviously. And that is 28 and 55. So let's see how many bars we can get from this. We already had tungsten ore as well. Only two tungsten bars. That's not enough for much at the moment, is it? Let's see about lead. Lead bars, nine lead bars, that ought to be enough for a sword. And then tin, we should have plenty of tin, so that's, we're up to 38 total tin bars. Let's see what we can make. Obviously I'm using a wooden sword, damage seven, let's see what kind of a lead sword we can make. Damage 11, as I suspected in the previous video, let's go ahead and do that for sure. That's definitely something we want. So we've gone from seven damage to 11 damage, that's excellent. So that's a major boost for our character. Look at that lead sword. Isn't it beautiful? And then with a new weapon in hand, let's take a look at some armor. Right now we have two defense with just a wooden breastplate and a wooden helmet. Let's see if we can make tin equipment. I think we should have... Well, we can't make an entire tin set, but what we can do is we can go ahead and get started. The... Uh, Tin Greaves, let's go ahead and do that. So we're now up to three defense. And that may be all we can do, but you know... No, we can build a tin helmet. Let's do that. And we've used up pretty much all of our supply of tin, but I think it was worth it. I think it was definitely worth it. We've essentially doubled... We have doubled our defense from two to four. And so with just a little bit of adventuring, the character looks a little cooler. Does a lot more damage. And he's got twice the defense. Let's test it out on the slime. Sorry, slime. And that was easy, right? It's a much improved weapon. So very good. I think that wraps up this video. So thanks for watching. I'll continue this series in the near future. So stay tuned to the channel. And I appreciate all of the support. Thanks, everyone.